one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today, let me check the door when I look in. I believe it was an O2 Dodge Intrepid. Nice rig. My shadow's gonna go through it, I'm sorry. It shines, it's gleamy, it looks good. I'm getting you some of this here in the sun, and then I'll get it in the shadows, give you a quick walk around, and then we will go around and show you any dings, dents, and damages, which some is right there. Not a whole lot to talk about. It's got a nice newer set of wheels, I mean, it's tight, actually. Wheels and tires on it. Um, very nice car. Drives good, runs good. Pretty much everything works. Um, so that's once around. Name's Nathan, 406-546-8748. Fly into Missoula, Montana. Drive this thing wherever, I think. But, it's a used car. Something's gonna go out at some point. Uh, right now, it runs and drives great, and windows and locks and whatever. I'll go over it all. Lots of miscellaneous, like, this right here, honestly, stuff got on it from washing other cars, like right there, too. All that comes right off, but there is some scratches on it and a gouge-ish type of thing right there. Some scratches here. General scratches. Someone put a newer light in here. Small crack right there. They put a new light. So honestly, you need to buy one for this side. I just got... <laughs> I got corner lights for a Honda, a Toyota Camry, both sides for 24 bucks. Stuff's cheap nowadays. It doesn't need it, but it would look nice if it matched. Um, this side's pretty straight. There's a ding there. And this gouge. Well, I guess this side isn't the straight side. Gouge here with this. And some bubbles here. A little corrosion on the inside here. And I don't know what he did. He drug it along something, and then the moisture got in it. Door still works fine. Everything's good. Light scuff here. Some chips right there. Probably backed up and almost hit something, kind of. Um, there's some stress marks there. You got that there. Clean underneath. Scratches, gouges. A little bit of difference in the bumper right there. And probably when he scuffed that, it did that. Ding there. There's some light scratches on the trunk here. Hard not to see. It's hard to see a lot of the stuff on this. However, you can see that. And it's pretty clean. All the trim and everything, you see how it looks. It's a clean car. Um, ding, ding. And this is dusty. The stuff gets so dusty in the valley here. Nice, nice set of tires on it. Lots of tread. Um, these steel wheels seem like aftermarket steel wheels because I bought the factory hubcaps. Such, it's such a unique, clean little car that I bought the factory hubcaps to go back on it. Lots of cars coming up. Lots of cars for sale. Even the Saab's coming up soon. But, clean rig, and that's your dings and dents and stuff like that. This one's even got more rubber than the other one. Crazy. A little scratch right there I didn't notice. But that's it, there's a ding there. I showed you that ding. And that's about all the dinginess we got around here. Once again, 406-546-8748. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up here, show you the inside and show it in the um, when the sun goes down here, just a tad bit. All right, so I'm out by the highway now, show you the car in a different light, and it's a really good looking car, and you have to get the different kind of steel wheels to get them factory hubcaps to fit on there, but you really don't need them. I just thought it'd be cool to have all the original factory stuff with it. Um, sorry if I'm talking too loud, but sorry if you can't hear me because of the traffic. I just want to show you in the different lights because it truly does look different and give you a different view of what the car looks like. So that's that. Once around, I'm going to show you the interior and we'll go up here and run down the road to my dad's house and show you the way it drives and everything. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Subscribe here on YouTube. It's like 9,000 videos on my channel. Lots of cool classics, lots of clean cars. Nice, nice looking car. Okay, I'm gonna show you under the hood here. And like I say, these, that's just some overspice. 
And if you want a sweet Hummer, there you go. Hummer H3T. Kind of a rare deal. It's an Alpha. So they only made a few hundred of them. But it's the pickup truck Hummer with the V8 LS motor. Looks great under the hood. Look at this. Clean, buddy. It's a clean car. Wow. Um, the hood struts are wore out. These are, I think, 16 bucks, 18 bucks on eBay or Amazon. There's a ding right there. There's something. Some kind of tape. Almost like an antenna on it or something. But there's no hole. One. Wow, it went off. 124 751 on it. All right. Gonna do a test drive. 124 753. It runs, drives, shifts really good. Stops. You know, all the important stuff. That's 65. Get on it, it goes. That's 70 right there. Good driving little car. Runs down the road really nice. And I'm gonna turn around right here this time. A little closer. There's a little security wire on the steering wheel there. So if you hear something, that's what it is clicking there when I turn or scratching a little bit. Rides good, drives good. Stops good. Oh, deal, man. It's the full package. It's just good, cheap wheels. And it's going to make somebody a nice little car. There we go. Okay, I'll get back here. I'll kind of give you an outro and all that. Check out my website, oneownercarguide.com. And on there is a lot of other cars. Make sure and subscribe. There's about 8,000 videos on here. I'm sure there's something that you'll find enjoyable. And look at that, man. Nathan, 406-546-8748. Call anytime. And by the way, all sorts of cool classic cars out here. I mean, I got some cool stuff. There's a Lexus I got in. Trans Am just got done. I'm gonna park this right here. Oh, good. Hummer H3T. There's some unique stuff out here. That's the car, oneownercarguy.com. Subscribe, like, comment. 8,000 videos on my channel. Check them out and um, give me a like. That's it. Give me a call if you're interested. We'll talk to you.